a little quick walk around of my rat rod project. Listen to the exhaust. Yeah. It's got like a little bit of uh, rust in here for sure, but this, the exhaust is quiet. Some definitely some surface rust around here to contend with, and uh, even some. I'm sure there's some rot underneath that um, driver floor. The door um, hits right here on the door check. Kind of hits in the bottom as it goes in. I don't know if there's a simple adjustment that could be made, but um, apparently the owner complained about that back in uh, 2001 at a Mercedes dealership. Um, get somebody's initials on there. The engine's nice and quiet. Um, it does have a couple of things that need to, like this little rubber thing right here on the air filter. You know, it's supposed to just have a wing nut on here and um, and uh, it's screw off, but I don't know what happened to that. Um, the wing nut um, up here is upside down. Fixing the flap right there to cover up the electric. Seems to have the later um, transmission dipstick. I don't know when this was implemented, but my previous 73 had a soft one. Looks like it may be hitting up here on this aluminum hood with no hood pack. Um, so I don't know uh, if there's any concern with the aluminum hood and the paint job. Um, it does not, as far as I can see, have the VIN number and the radiator support, so I will assume that it. At one point in its life, it's been in an accident. Um, it's, I, I don't know, how, you know whether you can prove that or what, but um, I'm, I'm gonna guess it has been. It seems like the, uh, it seems like the radiator is holding the water. Looks like I may have to clean out a drain hole there. Um, not a big deal, I'll clean that up. Um, but it, it runs well. Let's take it ahead of you. Uh, cylinder. Um, these wheels that I have, uh, they are rubbing just a little bit here. Um, I guess when I accelerate, wheel goes up, must hit right there. Um, and uh, there's definitely some surface rust areas down there, uh, and, and it's been keyed. Let's see where it's been keyed. Oh, and, and worst of all, the seats uh, have been cut, but my daughter fortunately had some red duct tape, uh, so that's how the seats are covered up right now. Um, looks like the seal here on the, the roof needs to be at least cleaned up, if not replaced. And I have yet to get a bottom piece of trim there for it. Um, let's see, the chrome on the grill is not perfect. I may have a nicer one in the garage, and maybe I can replace that. Uh, heat again around this Mercedes symbol. Heat on the hood. It is an aluminum hood, not an original steel. Um, and it has the replacement dual jets uh, for the, that. Um, there's a little bit of, of uh, rust showing here. Um, wouldn't see that if it had the trim on it. And a couple little, really little bubbling spots like that. Like right, right here. Um, so you can see that you know, the, the car is not perfect, but it is a perfect rat rod. Um, the antenna does not go all the way down, but it goes up. It's been spray painted black, it appears. Uh, a little bit of bubbling on this right here. I think that I think in the trunk I have a replacement for that that's in better shape. Um, the bumpers are not totally perfect. I think. This side's okay. Um, I think that this side has the beginning of some peeling. It's the very beginning. Coming up to the front here, we've got cracked and peeling. So that's 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 bad. A little, definitely some faded here. Um, and then coming around the other side, you can see the beginning of a crack there and some rust coming through. Haven't polished up the car or anything, but it's a complete car. The exception of the windshield trim, uh, it does need a new top. Um, 
and uh, but otherwise, you know, that's probably my next thing to do on this car if, if I do anything. Here, let's go for a ride. What the heck? Ugh. So the the Becker does work, but I think it's it may only be coming out of one speaker. I'm not sure. And and it's it's very hard to tune it. Like I'm turning the knob to the right and it's not going to the right, but it goes to the left. So you can see it's missing the label up there. It's not working, but I know how to fix this. The, the um definitely is temp it's it's not being erratic right now it's not really doing anything but but it kind of sometimes flies all over the place but there you can hear the tires rubbing but um yeah it really gets going uh, I don't know if I can spin tires here but why not I smell burning rubber from um, the tires rubbing the uh, walls. I have to, uh, definitely gonna have to roll the fender because we want to keep these tires on there. But it, it runs, it doesn't break straight. So I guess I have to work on the brakes. But um, it's uh, definitely running. Probably the next thing on my list would be rolling those fenders, I guess, to squeeze these tires in. <laughs> 